Okay, this workout's the countdown. Um, we're gonna do 10 reps of three moves, then you're gonna do nine reps of the same moves, then eight, then seven, then six, then five, then four, then three, then two, then one, and then you're done, that's your time. So we have three moves. Um, we're gonna start again with 10 reps of bent over row. So that's move number one. So this one, if you have two pairs of dumbbells, that would be awesome. If not, it's okay. Um, but this is going to be a little heavier, if possible, than the third move. So I'll get to that in a second. Let me focus on the first move. First move, bent over row. So straight legged deadlifts we've done before. So I'm hinging at the hips, my shoulders, and my chest is back. My shoulders are kind of squeezed together, so I'm not slumping, squeezing. And then the bent over row, I'm just pulling those dumbbells to my chest and back down. This can also be done with a barbell, but I kind of like um, my ponytail holder. I kind of like when I have uh, the dumbbells because I can move them to the sides and really squeeze my upper back. So you're gonna do 10 bent over row. And then second move, 10 mountain climbers. So the modified version of mountain climbers. Oh man, I hate my hair. So mountain climber version, or modified version is gonna be hands on a bench or a wall and knees to chest. So one, two, three, four. Uh, to make that harder, hands on the ground. One, two, three. Oh man, we need a ponytail holder. Or to make it even harder, let's see if this works. There we go. To make it even harder, you can do knees to uh, inner to elbow, opposite elbow, or grasshoppers. You guys have seen these. Okay, so 10 mountain climbers, one on each side is one. Right into seated shoulder press. And so I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna squeeze my stomach down so I'm not gonna arch, and then I'm gonna press overhead. Two, three. Okay, so making sure uh, we find a weight that I don't have to arch to get to. So that's kind of why I want two different pairs of dumbbells because bent over row, you could do much heavier than the press, but it's okay if you have to use the same weight. Um, 10, then nine, then eight, then seven all the way down to one, and then your time is done. If you want the extra challenge, after each set of uh, bent over row, you did the mountain climbers, you did the shoulder press, I want you to take a lap around whatever building you're in. So right now I'm in the warehouse, I'm gonna run around the lap, or run a lap around the building after each set. So after the tens are done, run. After the nines are done, run eights, run, etc. I think that's a fun way to make it a little bit harder if you want the challenge. But let me know your dumbbells that you used and your total time and if you added the run. Countdown, is that what it's called? Yes, count it down. <laughs>